Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Michael VR. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Today, I have a kind of um, a video you guys might enjoy, but you guys also might not enjoy this video. And there is a very good reason you guys might not. You guys might remember uh, about maybe a month ago or a few weeks ago, I put this poll up on uh, on the on the channel. And I got an overwhelmingly negative response to it, you know, not negative, but you guys basically told me not to waste my money on the HTC Vive Pro 2. <sighs> I couldn't resist. I bought it, guys. I got the HTC Vive Pro 2. I just need to see what the hype is. You know, I didn't watch any of the other reviews on it, so I have no idea what I got myself into. Um... I know the resolution is supposed to be bomb on this thing. It's supposed to be one of the best headsets. Um, I guess we're going to find out today, and I'm going to be reviewing it for you guys today. So if you guys like the video, please like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you think, and let's get right into it. So as you guys already know, my main game is Population 1. So obviously that's the game that I'm going to start uh, testing this headset with. Now, right off the bat, I noticed that my lens is fogged up immediately. This is due to it having a um, light leakage cover on the nose, and it just makes the headset fog really bad when I'm sweating, and then I'm also in a hot environment. So I, 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 I pretty much could not stop this headset from fogging up. As you can see multiple times throughout the video, it just keeps fogging up. I'm sure if you are in a cooler environment, then it won't be as uh, foggy and it won't get as foggy for you guys and as bad. But for me, this is just a huge issue. Now, to your surprise, I actually have some positive things to say about this headset. Um, first being that the up close quality of things in Population 1 actually look very, very good. Like, if, if you look at your weapon up close with the HTC Vive Pro 2, it looks, like, very detailed and very, um, it just looks like everything up close looks good. But the dis the stuff in the distance looks blurry for whatever reason on this headset. I did have the settings cranked up to 120 hertz, and I think it was on, um... 2448 uh by 2448 for the resolution i'm i might be wrong on that but um i think that's what i had it to so it it for for stuff to look like just completely blurry in the distance was seemed really weird to me i did set my ipd correctly and i just could not get now, something that really annoyed me about this headset was that and and it's something i didn't realize because i was i was focusing on the stats that they were putting out that you know make the headset seem good but the headset only has a vertical fov of 96 which is actually um i believe eight degrees smaller than the 104 degrees of vertical or yeah vertical fov on the index it it makes the uh, lenses seem like you're looking through two little square boxes and although you do kind of get used to it over time it really bugged the crap out of me because it it just I, I feel like the vertical FOV is just as important as the horizontal FOV so some more negative things about this headset are that the microphone sucks and the headphones also kind of suck. I don't like the way that they press against my ear and I, I don't necessarily like the way they sound either. They, they, they don't sound that great. I think the Index's headphones sound way better. I mean, HTC did already kind of establish that the microphone and the headphones were going to be the same as the Vive Pro, but... um. I don't know. I feel like they could have at least upgraded the headset for the price. So in my honest opinion, as far as population one goes, I highly recommend against this headset. I think this would be a terrible headset to play population one, um, you know, uh, competitively in and, and just in general, I don't think it's a good headset for this game, but for other games, I, I did play some other games like Boneworks, Half-Life Alex, and let me just tell you what I think about those games with this headset. 
Now, I think Boneworks is one of the most visually pleasing titles in just the VR space in general. I think Boneworks is a great game to test this headset with. And when I did test this headset with Boneworks, I, I was surprised at how good it looks and how high the quality is. Now, there are still were some issues though. Earlier when I said that in the distance, things kind of look, appear to be blurry in population one. Well, the same thing goes for Boneworks and pretty much every other game that I tested it with. Um, now, although Boneworks does have like, you're, you're pretty much, um, there are some places where things are farther off in the distance, but everything is kind of close to you most of the times or everything that you need to pay attention to is close to you. So the fact that, that the game is is designed like that you know everything looks great in boneworks but when you do get things that are far farther off in the distance i did find it to be a little bit blurry and that did bug me a bit now that i have mentioned all of those things i think those are pretty much all the negatives about this headset um there are very little positives and for that reason i'm most likely not going to be keeping this headset i'm probably going to be selling it um there are just way too many things that that I, I just don't like about it. And I think if you are thinking about buying this headset, I would highly recommend against it. And I would highly recommend to just wait for a better headset to come out. Um, I, I think there are plenty of other better headsets that will be coming out in the near future. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed it, please drop a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you thought of this uh, review. And yeah, guys, um, I will see you in the next one. Peace.